Hi, my name is Bill Lubing. Well, some people go to the movies, some people go out to dinner, some people go out of town. What I like to do on a Saturday night is blanch vegetables. So today I'm going to show you how to blanch spinach. Blanching is a process where you quickly heat and then quickly cool vegetables and fruits. This is in preparation for freezing. The reason you do this is that there are enzymes that are still active in the vegetables uh, even after harvesting. These can cause the flavor to deteriorate and the nutrition to deteriorate in the freezer. So we always want to blanch uh, vegetables and fruits. The other thing it does is, is bring out the, a lot of nice flavor, uh, color and flavors and just ba basically it's a very good thing to do. Here are the basic tools that I use for blanching. First, I use a colander to wash the greens before putting them into the water. I, I go from there into a uh, basket that's got holes in it that I will immerse into the hot water and then I pull them out and put them into a sieve which I use to run cold water over them to get them cool quickly. Now a lot of times you can use an ice bath and a lot of cooks will tell you that's the preferred method um, and I would agree with that uh, except that I've got uh, very cold water where I am here out in the country with a uh, well that's quite chilly. Of course we always want to make sure that our spinach is clean and that any bad leaves or stems have been removed uh, before we freeze it. Now your setup is going to be a little different than mine obviously. Um, I actually leave the basket in the boiling water um, just to keep it hot. And I just pull up put in my spinach and drop it right back down again. Now I want to make sure that that spinach gets totally immersed in that water and quickly and that I set my timer. All vegetables have a little different um, amount of uh, blanch time in the case of spinach it's two and a half minutes. Uh, you can check any number of sources to find out the proper uh, time to uh, to blanch vegetables. I happen to check the joy of cooking which is what I used for this. Even that small amount of spinach will absorb a tremendous amount of heat from the relatively large uh, amount of hot water. It's a good idea to you know make sure your water is boiling good and make sure that your uh, spinach is totally underwater. So after the timer goes off, I pull out my spinach and let it drain just a second back into the pot before I dump it into the soup. And then put my basket right back in there. And step over to the, kit, to the sink. It's critical that all of the spinach gets gets chilled quickly. So whether you're doing it in an ice bath or doing it with the spray water like I'm doing, make sure that everything is cold, including the center of the spinach. Now I found that it's always a good idea to mark your bags that you're going to freeze in before you get them wet. Um, so just take a marker and mark you know what it is and the date and you'll be good whoops us lefties always have a little problem but that'll dry putting your bagged spinach or other vegetable onto cookie sheets to freeze is a great way to do it it spreads uh, spreads them out it gets the cold in there quickly and it uh, keeps them from you know going all over the freezer make sure when you bag that you get all the air out uh, you should be able to see a, a lot of nice green if there's uh, if there's not then you may have some air in there so make sure you get uh, get all the air out of the bags as much as you can well, this water has seen quite a bit of use uh, getting through all of the spinach, but we're certainly not going to discard it. It's, come, it's picked up a lot of the essence of the spinach in its use, and we're going to use this as a stock for soup. 
So I would, uh, if you if you have room in your refrigerator or freezer, uh, put you know use this to keep this around for a stock. Uh, it works great. So okay, maybe you've missed a movie on a Saturday night because you've been home blanching. But truly, when you pull that uh, frozen uh, frozen spinach out of your freezer and use it in your in in your menus, you're going to think it's better than anything that a Hollywood movie could offer anyway. I want to thank you for joining me and I hope you got something out of this demonstration. I also want to thank Dan Deneen from Black Earth Valley Farm for supplying this wonderful spinach.